painting depicts two young boys, boldly lit by a concealed candle, inflating a pig's bladder. At the time, animal bladders served as toys, either inflated and tossed like balloons or filled with dried peas and shaken like rattles. In European art, bladders often functioned as symbolic variants on soap bubbles, fragile playthings signifying the brevity of human life and the transience of human achievement. Although bladders were depicted frequently in 17th century Dutch paintings, they were less common in 18th century British art, and Wright has taken liberties with the motif. Painter Joseph Wright of Derby is to my mind the greatest painter of the 18th century. That is if you count Turner for the 19th century, of course. As his name suggests, he was born in Derby, England, 1734, to a respectable family of lawyers. He decided to become a painter, studying first in London, then traveling to Italy, famously painting an eruption at Vesuvius. He would go on to be heavily influenced by the already established Italian masters that would later inspire his own chiaro scuro style. So what has he got to do with horology? Well, upon his return to England, uh, it was considered a world-changing period known as the British Enlightenment. Great Britain was unquestionably one of those nations leading the world in scientific, cultural, economic, philosophical developments and ultimately 